Today we're looking at uh, the solutions for differentiation part one worksheet as part of your higher maths uh, revision for your prelim or for your uh, final exam. What we're going to cover today is uh, we'll probably go through about six very short videos um, ranging from working with the simple differentiation all the way through to rate of change, equation of the tangent to the curve, um, looking at stationary points in their nature and uh, sketching curves um, using differentiation. Okay, let's let's get started here. So this will be the first of six uh, videos. Let's go to question one, okay? Right, so again, if you've not got this worksheet, just freeze it. And uh, what to do is um, try them yourself and see the solutions when they're complete. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to start to differentiate each of these with respect to x, okay? So I'm going to start just by naming that y is equal to, and it's 3x squared plus 6x. So remember when we differentiate, that would be giving me dy by dx. And when I differentiate, that's going to give me a gradient. So what I can get is a gradient formula here. So from there, that's one of the reasons why I'm going to be differentiating, okay? And we'll see that later on in some of the other video clips. Right, the process for differentiation is we're going to multiply the coefficient here at the front by the power, okay? So 2 times 3 gives me 6. I've got x, and I'm going to reduce the power by 1. So that will be to the power of 1. For this one here, I'm going to do the same thing. So I've got a power of 1 that's sitting there. So 1 times 6 is going to give me 6, and it's going to be x to the power of 0. And x to the power of 0, as you remember, is equal to 1 or anything to the power of zero equals one. So that's why that's my solution there. Right, let's move forward a wee bit quicker. Right, so y is equal to, right, so I can either say it's y uh, dy by dx, or, or I can say it's a y dashed, okay? Right, so that's gonna be four x cubed, and that's gonna be minus one times a minus two will give me a plus two, x to the minus two, and the four is gonna to go to zero. Because that's just like, I've got 4x to the power of 0, 0 times 4 is 0, anything times 0, it's going to be 0. If I was going to have to write that with a positive index, what I could write as, that would be plus 2. And remember, it's only the part that's got the power with it that goes down to the denominator. And that would be my solution there. Let's look at the next one. Okay, I can do this in two ways. I'm going to multiply that bracket out as the first way I'm going to do it. So dy by dx is going to be equal to. So let's square that bracket out. You can do it by FOIL or any other quicker method that you know. So I'm going to square the first term. So that's going to give me, first of all, I'm going to say that that's going to be uh, 4x squared. That's going to be, I'm going to multiply these two together, which gives me 6x, double it, gives me 12x. And then I've got to square the last term. So that's going to be plus 9 there at the end. So and it's that that I'm going to differentiate. So dy by dx is going to be equal to 8x plus 12, and the 9 goes to 0. So that's going to be my final answer. The other option that I would have there would be to start with uh, this here. And what I'll do is I'll uh, just uh, differentiate it right away. This used to be called further differentiation. So let's go for multiply the front of the bracket by 2. Keep what's in the bracket there. Reduce the power by 1. So that's just going to go to 1. I'm then going to have to differentiate what's inside the bracket. And what I'm going to get out of that will be... If I differentiate that, that's going to just give me 2. So that's going to be multiplied by 2. This here is going to be equal to 4, 2x plus 3. And if I multiply that bracket back out again, so that would give me 8x plus 12. And that's just the same as what I've got up here. So they're just the same. Okay, so that's the, the simpler ones uh, started. Let's go to some more complex ones where you have to be a bit more uh, sharp with your indices um, and with uh, your search work. Right, so here we go. I'm just going to go for question two. <clears throat> Right, again, freeze the video, try the question, and see the solution. Right then, so if I've got f of x, I'm going to differentiate that. Um, well, first of all, I'm going to have to, I'm going to take that away. I'm going to multiply the bracket out first here. So x cubed times x will give me x to the power of 4, and x cubed times minus x squared is going to give me minus x to the power of 5. Remember when we multiply indices, we add them together. 
What I'm then going to do is I'm going to differentiate, and that's going to give me 4x to the power of 3, and that'll be minus 5x to the power of 4. And that there will be my solution. Let's go to the next one. I've got a g of x function. So I'm going to have to prepare this one here, because I can't differentiate with uh, an x on the denominator. So let's just change that right away. So I've got 3x squared there, plus... And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it just to the top line, and that's going to give me x to the minus 3. I'm then in a position now to differentiate. Okay, so g dashed x, and what we've got is 6x, reduced to the power by 1, and that's going to be minus 3x to the minus 4. Okay, if I had to write it with a positive index, what I'm going to do is I'm only going to take down the part that's got the power with it, so the 3 is going to sit on the, the numerator, and that'll be x to the power of 4 there. Okay, final answer. Right, for part c, I've got an h of x function, both x's are on the bottom line, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get them to the top, okay? So first thing I'm going to prepare it, that's going to be x to the minus 1, and that's going to be plus. Be careful with this one here. So there's a third that's sitting there, so I'm going to write my third, and it's only x to the power of 2, you know, there's the power, so if I take that to the top line, that's going to be x to the minus 2. So be careful with that, that's, that's one that you see uh, many errors with, careful on that one. Let's go ahead and we'll differentiate. So h dashed x is going to be equal to multiply by the power, first of all. So that'll be minus 1x to the minus 2. I've got minus 2 times a third. So what that's going to be is it's going to be a minus, and that'll be minus 2 over 3. x to the minus 3, if I reduce the power by 1. Right, let's tidy this up and uh, we'll get some of the, the negative powers to the, the bottom. So, so that would be okay in the, in the question. Uh, an answer, sorry. So let's go ahead and just get the powers to the bottom. So what I've got on the top there, I've got minus 1 sitting there. I've got x squared. I've got a minus sign. I've got 2 thirds. That's there. I'm going to take the x to the minus 3 to the bottom. So it'll be x cubed. And there's my final answer. Okay, we're going on to 2D now. Again, freeze the video, try these questions. So they're starting to get a bit more complicated. We've got a lot of indices here, um, and we'll, we'll try and work through these. Right, so the function, f of t, so let's go for, let's see, we're going to have to multiply out the indices, so we're going to have to prepare it quite a bit. So let's go ahead and do that first. So not differentiating, I'm just going to multiply out the indices. When I multiply the indices, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to add them. So t to the half times t to the power of 2. Well, I'm just going to add them together, so that'll give me 2 and a half, or that'll just give me t to the 5 upon 2 as a top-heavy fraction. And then I've got plus, and I've got a half plus 3 halves, or 3 over 2, which will give me 4 over 2. So that'll be t to the power of 4 over 2. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sort that out before I do any differentiation. So that's going to be t to the power of 2 there. Now we can differentiate. Let's go and differentiate. Right, same as before. Um, multiply the power and the coefficient together. So that's as if there's a 1 sitting there. So I've got a 5 over 2 t. And I'm going to reduce the power by 1. If I'm reducing the power by 1, I'm going to reduce it by 2 halves. So if I've got 5 over 2 and take 2 halves away... I must have 3 halves, so 3 over 2. And then I've got plus 2t to the power of 1. And that would be acceptable as an answer there. In this question here, what we have is a g of p function. Okay, And what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to multiply these two parts here by 1 over p. Right, so what I've got here is p to the minus a third all over p minus and that's going to be p to the 2 over 3 and I'm going to divide that by p as well so I've just multiplied that bracket out there I'll then use my indices work remember that's p to the power of 1 and p to the power of 1 so when I'm dividing with indices then I'm going to subtract so I've got p to the minus 4 over 3 for this one here I'm going to subtract 1 from 2 thirds so I'm just going to get p all I'm doing is taking 3 away from 2, which gives me minus 1, and I'm working with thirds. So it's p to the minus 1 third. What I'll then do is I'll, uh, I've now prepared it properly. 
what we'll do is then we'll differentiate it. So differentiating, so that'll be minus 4 over 3. P, I'm going to take 3 away from minus 4, that'll take me to minus 7 upon 3. Okay. What I'll then do is, I've got this part here, I've got minus 1 third times minus 1, so that'll give me plus 1 third, and that's going to be P to the power of, and I'm going to take 3 away from minus 1, which will take me to minus 4 over 3. So that could be my answer there. Um, if I was going to have to write that with uh, positive indices, what I would do is I'd take the P to the minus 7 over 3 to the denominator. So there's my minus 4 sitting there. That would be 3P to the 7 over 3. And the next part, I've got a plus. There's my 1 third sitting there. And I'm going to take P to the minus 4 over 3 to the bottom. So it's going to be 3P to the 4 over 3 on the bottom. OK, and that, that would be the answer for that one. Right, on to f. I've got a u of h uh, function that's here. I've got some roots in it. So well, I can't uh, differentiate with roots. can't differentiate with a u on the denominator. So I'm going to have to move that up and change it to index form. Right, so let's do some preparation first. So that's going to be u to the power of a half. And that's going to be plus 1 over 2. And that will be u to the half there. I'm going to take that to the top line, and remember when we do this, what we've got to do is only take this part that's here to the top, okay, up to the numerator. Because I've already got a half sitting there, and I'm going to take the u to the top, and that'll be to the minus a half that's there. Okay, I'm now in a position to uh, differentiate, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So h dashed u is going to be equal to... So it's going to be a half u to the minus a half. I'm going to differentiate that part out. And then I've got minus a half times a half. So that's going to give me minus a quarter. Minus a quarter, and that will be u. And what I'll take is 1 away from minus a half. So all I'm going to do is take 2 away from minus 1. That should give me minus 3. And I'm working with halves. Right, so again, that could be my answer. If I'm going to write it with uh, positive indices, I'm only going to take the u to the minus a half to the bottom. So there's the 2 there, and that will go to a positive half. And I'm going to take the other down as well. So there's the 4 there, the quarter, and I've got u to the power of 3 over 2. And that's the solution for these ones. Here at first, so I can't prepare, I can't differentiate with x's on the bottom or a fraction in this form. So always remember with this one, we're going to split that denominator to both of these here. So that's the first bit of preparation that I'm going to do. So I've got x to the power of 5 on the top, that's all over x to the power of 4. I've got that plus sign that's there, 2x to the power of 2, all over x to the power of 4. Then I'm going to do some index work or indices. And what we'll do is we'll simplify that. So remember with indices, I'll write a line in here to, to help you out. So what we've got is we've got x to the power of 5. And when I'm dividing indices, what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract them. Okay. And then what I've got is I've got plus 2 sitting there. I've got x to the power of 2. And that's going to be minus 4. Right, so let's look at what we're going to be differentiating now. So that's going to be x to the power of 1. And that's going to be plus 2x to the minus 2. So that's what I'm going to differentiate. And I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So we've got a power of 1 there. So that's going to be 1x to the power of 0. And that's going to be just 1. I've then got minus 2 times 2. So that's going to give me a minus 4x to the minus 3. If I was to write it with a positive index, if I'm asked for it, got a 4 sitting on the top, and I'm just going to be moving that down here to the bottom. And I'm just going to change its sign. And there's my final answer for that one. On to h. <coughs> right, so with the h, what we've got is a f of v function. Right, so quite a bit of preparation to, to do here, similar to what we were doing over this side here. Just remember, never just take the thing on the bottom up to the top here. That will never work for you, okay? So you've got to split that fraction. Right, so what I'll do is just split it. So f of v 
all over. I'm just going to change this to V to the power of a half, change it to uh, index form, then I've got plus a 2 sitting there, and I've got that all over V to the power of a half. What I'll do is I'll do the, the index work on this one, and what we'll do is we've got 5V to the power of 1 minus a half, because I'm dividing, plus, and I've got 2V to the minus a half. Right, let's sort this wee bit out first. So it's going to be 5v to the power of a half plus 2v to the minus a half. And what we'll do is we'll just differentiate it now. Right, so half times 5 would be 5 upon 2, or 2 and a half. Okay, and that's going to be v. I'm going to reduce the power by 1. That'll take me to minus 1 over 2. Multiplying minus a half times 2 will give me a minus, and that'll give me 1. So that'll just be a 1, and that'll be v, and when I take 1 away from this, okay, remember 1 is 2 over 2, so minus 1, take away 2, will give me minus 3, and I'm working with halves, minus 3 over 2. If I had to write this uh, with a positive index, what I would do is, I would just write that as, there's my 5, there's my 2, and the v goes to the bottom, and that would be a half there, positive. I've got a minus sign, so that one that's sitting there I'll put on the top, and that'll be v to the power of 3 over 2. If I had to write it in third form, then all I would do is I'd do the reverse of what I did up here, from there to there, so that's going to be 5 all over 2, and I'm going to write that as a root. So the root at the bottom goes to the 2 kind that goes there, but in a square root we don't write that in, and that'd be v to the power of 1, and I'm not going to write that in either. And then I've got minus 1 all over, and what I've got is a square root of v, and on the top I've got a 3, so that's going to be cubed. So that there is going to be my final answer for that one. Last question in this video. Okay, so what we've got is, I've got quite a bit of preparation to do here. First of all, I'm going to take, uh, let's see, um, I can take that to the top, and then I'm going to have to split this fraction. So quite a complex one here. So let's try and do some, some working out, first of all. So if I take that, let's just do it in stages. I've got 1 all over, and that's going to be t to the power of a half on the bottom there. Inside the bracket, I'm going to split this. So the t is going to go to that side, and it's also going to this side here. Whatever we've got on the numerator, we're going to put it over the denominator like that there. I'm going to lift that to the top, that'll give me t to the minus a half. And then with the index work, I'm just going to have t squared divided by t, which leaves me with t. And what I've got here is I've got t to the power of 3 over 2 minus, remember these have got the power of 1, minus a 1, so that'll give me t to the power of a half that's sitting there. Right, now I've got to multiply out that uh, bracket. And then we'll multiply out the bracket. Okay, so remember what we're doing if we're multiplying with indices. Uh, we're going to add them. Okay, so it'll be minus a half plus one. That'll give me t to the power of a half. And then t to the minus a half times t to the half. Adding the indices will give me zero. Okay. Now that zero there, anything to the power of zero, is going to give me one. So I've got t to the power of a half plus one. Then further down, what we'll do is we'll then go ahead and we'll differentiate it. So differentiating, it'll be a half t, take one away from a half, will be minus a half, and the one, the constant term will go to, to zero. Okay, so that's, that's it integrated, and that would be uh, one of the answers. Um, if I had to answer with a positive index, there we go, that's a positive index. I'll just take the t to the power of minus a half down to the bottom, and the minus half changes to a positive. Or if I had to show it in root form, it would be in this form here. Okay, so some good and challenging uh, questions that we've got here. Um, if you can do them, then hopefully you can uh, attempt the, the ones that are in your exam papers. Good luck.